In this demonstration, we're going to show you the logics running inside the SAP Business One ERP or Business System. If we go into the Stock Management module and open up a product record, here we'll use this product here. We can click on the Planning Details button to see 12 months worth of forecast. Now how is that forecast derived? Well in Vologix we can hold up to four years of sales history. This history could be sales order history, it could be sales invoice history. We like to use sales orders so that maybe uh, an order that couldn't be fulfilled can be captured on your business system and cancelled thereby capturing true demand even if you couldn't fulfill it. So once we have the sales order information here you can see we have four years extracted into the system. The logics on a daily basis will be able to review this to come up with a replenishment requirement. The first step in generating that replenishment requirement is the generation of a 12 month rolling forecast. Here you see we're in September highlighted in yellow and you'll also see that a forecast has been created based on a trend. Now for this particular product it's identified that it's trending upwards and you can see the forecast is growing at a corresponding rate. But the logic has many algorithms not just a trend algorithm. If it looks at the data and sees that there's at least two years of history and it has a seasonal pattern in the data then it will select a seasonal algorithm. If it then can't find seasonality it will turn to the trend algorithm like it has here and if it doesn't have a trend it will use the average and finally if there's very little information it will just do a one month forecast. All of this is done automatically by Vologix. There's no need to extract the sales history into a spreadsheet and manipulate it. As you can see on this screen, it's automatically captured it from our SAP uh, Business One system and then turned that into the 12 month forecast. Now, the forecast is just the starting point. Vologix uses this number here called the stocking quantity to determine exactly how much stock is needed in a planning horizon. So what's a planning horizon? Well first of all we have the lead time for the product in this example 21 days. So this product takes 21 days to arrive from the supplier. The planning horizon is the sum of this number and the second number here called order frequency. This is the number of days in which you will check this product and order it again. Many customers who are new to the logics will be reviewing their products maybe on a fortnightly or even monthly basis. But once they start using the logics and presented with the information so quickly, they can reduce this order frequency, obviously reducing the planning horizon. By reducing the planning horizon, we need to hold less stock. So if we look here, 21 days plus the order frequency, the planning horizon for this product is 28 days. This can be different for every single product in the system. The next step is to take those 28 days and say how much am I forecasting to sell in the next 28 days. So we look at the forecast here and the calculation is made and displayed here. 5,609 units in the next 28 days. We can also see above that the amount of sales orders that are due to be shipped. So these are actual sales orders on the system. If this number exceeds the forecasted number we will see an amount here in the excess committed. So the logics will always respond to demand even if it's a new order that exceeds the forecast. The magic number now is this stocking quantity. How does the logic arrive at that? Well it looks at the forecast and it takes this service level. Here we've set it to 99%. The service level indicates how much of the history and the spikes in the history do we want to cover. 
So for example, if a product has very variable demand and we set a 99% service level, we're going to increase the safety stock um, considerably to cover those high spikes in demand. If the product has very low variability in demand, then we won't be increasing it so much. Here the variability is relatively low and you can see that a safety stock has been added of about 300 units. Now we have our stocking quantity, we can make our standard uh, requirements calculation. We start here with the stock level that's currently in the system. Added to that is the open purchase orders. These are purchase orders that are expected in within the next 28 days, the planning horizon. We take from that any sales orders that have been uh, not yet been delivered and also any excess committed, i.e sales over and above the forecast. And then finally we subtract the stocking quantity, the expected sales in the planning horizon. The mass there leads to a shortfall for this product of 1591 units. Each product is planned in this way every single day looking at sales, purchase orders on the system, stock transfers between warehouses you can imagine the amount of calculations you'd have to do manually to keep in touch with this number. Any time it goes negative, it will be presented to you in the replenishment plan, which we'll cover next.